our kitchen is anything that people need it to be. It has been all sorts of different things. We originally, it came from when I was sitting on a bus, a loop bus, and I heard a mum say to her two children, what we're going to have for tea is hot dogs, alphabet potato and scotch pancakes. And she was tired and hungry and thin and worn out, you could see it. She needed support, she needed encouragement, she needed to be loved. So I leapt off the bus, went back and bought that meal. She had fed her family for 50 pence a head. Don't think I've ever done that. She'd done really well, but it just came to me in that split second that what she needed was somewhere she could go, where she could be educated about food, educated and provided with much better food, much healthier food at better prices. It shouldn't be true that you need to be have a lot of money to buy good food. I was given what's called Point of Light Award. The Prime Minister has it in his gift to give one of these every single day. It's a recognition of work without compensation, of real voluntary work. I think volunteering is fabulous. I, I am a volunteer CEO. I always have been. It's perfectly okay to be rewarded if you need to be. Money means very little to me, so I'm quite happy to go without it. I didn't discover what I was passionate about until I got to my late 60s. Damn, that's annoying. I wish I discovered that I cared about this when I was 20, but I didn't. So I've only got a little bit of time to deliver on that. I'm going to retire in two years' time. On the 17th of May, 2023, is I'm going to retire. Yes, I'm going to stop this. I'm convinced that younger people can do a better job than me. You've got to know when to step aside. I'm going to go hell for leather until then. I'm going to have a ball, but that is when I'm going to stop. So we need to find somebody to take it over and take it forward differently from the way I do it. There will be somebody.